Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel, Peter Likes Books. How are you guys doing today? I am so excited to make this video. This is a big announcement, huge, huge, huge mistake. Do you remember that from Pretty Woman? This is a big announcement about the book club that I co-run with my good Judy Mel. Hey Mel, how are you doing? If you want to go follow Mel, I will list her uh, Instagram below. It is Ginger Gonzo Reads. She has a bookstagram over there. Um, we have a couple things to announce. So today I'm going to be announcing our topic for um, June, which is part of our Summer of Serial Killer series that we do for a true crime book club. Um, and we're very, very excited about this. We've got some really cool things lined up. Uh, so I wanted to talk about that first, which was actually, this has been like one of the easiest books that we came up with, one of the easiest topics. And what Mel and I are trying to do at this point is we're trying to make the um, each month be really, really inclusive. And so what we're doing is we're not just reading books, although this is a book club, but we're also picking a movie, watching documentaries, watching interviews, listing articles, on and on and on. So you can go in and you can like read part of the book and watch a movie or watch the movie and still be able to come and participate in um, the live stream or participate in the group every month, right? Or you could do all of it. Like this month is Eileen Warnos. May is Eileen Warnos. And so we are reading the book Dead Ends. Uh, I think it's by Michael Reynolds is his name. And then the extra credit book is Dear Dawn, which is all of Eileen Warnos' personal letters. They are, they're out there. Um, it's 600 pages long. It's, it's really, really good though. And then we're watching both of the documentaries, the, um, the selling, Eileen Warnos, The Selling of a Serial Killer, and Eileen, The Life and Death of a Serial Killer. Those are both found on YouTube in their entirety. And then we are also watching the movie Monster with Charlize Theron. And then we are also watching the movie At Misha's Suggestion, Overkill with Gene Smart, who played Charlene in Designing Women. So we're doing a lot. And I've been watching interviews as well. There was a 16-minute interview that is just, it'll blow you away. It's just, she, Eileen Warnos was one of a kind, I think. And anytime she publicly spoke, you saw that. So anyway, we're doing a whole month of Eileen Warnos. We're trying to do all these different things, and it's been really enjoyable to like read a book, then watch the documentary, and all this kind of stuff. I will say it seems a little bit like it is overkill, not to <laughs> make a pun, but because it's a lot. You know, it's a lot of the same information, but it's interesting to see like how it's covered in a documentary versus like how it's shown in mo one movie, or how it's shown in the movie Monster versus how it's shown in Overkill, because it's like com two completely different stories. So it's very interesting. So. First things first, I wanna say, I'm very excited about this. We have a Facebook group. Mel and I worked very hard yesterday on coming up with a Facebook group. Um, and we wanted to make an area because a lot of people don't have Goodreads. And a lot of people are like, I wanna join the book club and I wanna see all the announcements, but I, I'm not on Goodreads. And so we wanted to make like a common area. That doesn't mean that you don't have to participate in Goodreads. We're still gonna have the threads over there. It's still gonna be very, very active. I'm still gonna make the videos over here. Um, but we wanted a place that was like a community area that everybody could come together. Those those people that didn't have good reads, those people that wanted to participate in the book club from afar. And then that way, when I'm in my other videos or people on the street that I see, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere, but you know, when I talk to people and they're like, hey, like I want to join the book club, but where do I go? And I'm like, well, good reads. And they're like, well, I don't have a good reads. And I'm like, okay. So we decided that Facebook was probably the easiest place. And so we made a group. It's a public group. Now, <laughs> Mel and I are not beyond making mistakes, okay? So while I was working with coming up with what our banner would look like, which is basically, um, here, I'll show it to you right here, True Crime Book Club, okay, very excited. But anyway, we also have, people have asked for merch, so that's the next thing that we're gonna work on. I think we haven't really talked much about this, but probably like maybe t-shirts, hoodies, and like book totes or something like that. And we have a very cool, same font, it's not gonna say the book club on it, but it's gonna say something really, really cool that has something to do with this on there that will be kind of special to us and all that kind of stuff so anyway that will be coming i don't know when we listen we've got we've got mel is working full time from home right now so we've got lots to do but when we did this group okay and all you have to do is go over there and you just have to i will that will be the first thing that's linked below is the facebook group when you go over there all you have to do is just request to be a part of the group it's a public group anybody can join it all your good judies send them out the information you just have to answer a few questions. You have to say why you want to join the group. You have to say what genre of true crime is your favorite. You can even say, I don't know, and we'll still accept it. 
and you have to say that you'll accept the rules and conditions of the group, which is basically like be kind, you know, no nasty language, things like that. If you answer those three questions, no matter what you put, we're just going to accept you, okay? But you have to answer the questions to be part of the group. So, because we wanted to make it public, but we also wanted it to be a little bit of a process for people to go through. Um, so there's that. Um, I was sitting there today looking at it because I was getting ready to put the picture up in my Peter Mon drama video because I was talking about it over there and I looked at it and I was like, um, I don't know why this didn't occur to us in the almost hour that we talked on the phone for like 45 minutes last night doing this. I don't know why it didn't occur to either one of us last night that our book club is actually called the true crime book club period, <laughs> not a true crime book club period. So I called Belle up on the phone and I said, Hey girl, what's going on? And she's like, how much? I said, do you, well, I think I actually texted it to her first. I said, did you realize that it missed both of us that we said a true crime? Now, our Facebook official is facebook.com backslash groups backslash a true crime book club. I, we can't change it or we'll lose that address. So I said, you know, what do you want to do? And so we thought about it and I was like, do you want to go in and change the Goodreads to a true crime book club and we'll just be a true crime book club now instead of the true crime book club? And she said, I don't really care either way. And I was like, yeah, I don't either. And I kind of like a true crime book club better. I don't know. It just leaves it more ambiguous. So we are now officially no longer the true crime book club. We're now officially a true crime book club. <laughs> so there we go. Things just happen sometimes magically that way. So that's that. Very excited about the group. Please come join. You guys are more than welcome to post whatever you want to post over there. I will tell you that Mel and I have set it up so that be, your posts have to be approved by one of us. And we're just doing that out of fairness to the group so that it stays nice and it stays kind of, you know, cool over there and it doesn't get mean and things like that. So anyway, um, but I'm very, very excited about the Facebook group. So go over there and check it out. Mel and I will both be active over there. Mel is still going to be super active on the good reads and I will still be active in my videos and things like that. So... That's what we're gonna do. Now, get into the book for June, are you ready? If you wanna put in the comment section below some suggestions for July and August of who you'd like to read about, like I said, we're doing a summer of serial killers. In the summer, we like to pick pretty big serial killers. Like, we don't like to pick people that, um, you know, like have kind of a small story or whatever. We wanna pick people that, you know, most of us maybe know, but haven't read a lot about or whatever. And I will tell you, the person that we picked, Mel and I both know who this person is. We've heard a lot about this person, but we didn't, we haven't read really anything about them. We haven't read any books. We haven't watched any movies. And that person is Richard Ramirez, the Night Stalker. So if you don't know anything about Richard Ramirez, um, I will put his picture up right here. Here, let me um, get that screenshot for you off of his Wikipedia page. Richard Ramirez, Richard, Ricardo Leva Munoz uh, Ramirez. Uh, February 29th of 1960 to June 7th of 2013. Known as Richard Ramirez was an American serial killer, rapist, and burglar. His highly publicized home invasion crime spree terrorized the residents of the greater Los Angeles area and later the residents of the San Francisco area from June 1984 until August of 1985. Prior to his capture, Ramirez was dubbed the Night Stalker by the news media. And um, I don't know if he was executed or I have no idea how he died. I maybe want to, I, I don't want to know anymore. I want to find out later. Don't put it in the comment section below because I told her, I said, I know who he is. He was an American Horror Story. I've seen, you know, things about him. If he was a character in the last season of American Horror Story, I've seen, you know, like all kinds of stuff about Richard Ramirez for years. I've heard about the Night Stalker, but I haven't read anything about him and I haven't watched any movies. So the book that we're reading, and this is a repeat author and we were kind of surprised there aren't a lot of great books out there about Richard Ramirez. And it's kind of a sad thing. Like, we really want to do The Son of Sam, but there's not great books about The Son of Sam. In fact, the greatest book is called The Son of Sam, but it's really hard to find. It's like, it's not on Audible. It's not in libraries. It's out of print, I think, at this point, which is kind of surprising to me. So if somebody knows a book about The Son of Sam that they think would be good, put it in the comment section below. But the book that we're going to read this month is, here it is. I will put the, um, th the what do you call it? <laughs> front of it. The Night Stalker, The Life and Crimes of Richard Ramirez by Philip Carlo. Now, you might be asking yourself, Philip Carlo, Philip Carlo. Now, if you want to search it, it's with one L because I kept on going, Mel, I can't find this. I can't find this anywhere. It's available on Audible. It's at the library. It's at Amazon. It's wherever you guys can find it. Okay. Philip Carlo is who wrote the book, um, the Confessions of a, a Mafia Contract Killer about uh, Richard Kuzlinski. So, this is our second uh, Philip Carlo book. If you like that one, here's the second one. Um, the book is 592 pages. It's 800, 800 hours. It's 18 hours on Audible. And it came out in... Let me see. Hold on a second. 
2006, which is interesting. So this came out before his death. I wonder if there's an amendment to it. Um, book description. Painstakingly researched over three years, based on nearly 100 hours of exclusive interviews with Richard Ramirez and California's death row, the Night Stalker is a definitive account of America's most feared serial murderer. From Ramirez's earliest brushes with the law to his deadliest stalking expeditions to the unprecedented police and civilian manhunt that resulted in one of the most sensational trials in California history, the Night Stalker is an eerie and spellbinding descent into the very heart of human evil. It is more than epic nonfiction at its most brutally real. It is true crime masterpiece. And it has a really high rating of 3.98, and that's high for a true crime book that's been out for a while. So, that is the book that we're reading for the month of uh, June. We will start that June 1st. And the movies, okay, there's two movies that we're going to suggest. The first movie is, hold on, I just took screenshots of them. The first movie is um, Night Stalker, and it's from 2002. I found two different ones, 2002, 2009. And the 2009 one says it is definitely about the Night Stalker. And then there is one that came out in 2016, and it's with Lou Diamond Phillips. I believe he plays uh, Richard Ramirez. And um, it came out in 2016. So those are two movie suggestions. We're not going to do an extra credit book this month. Because um, it just starts becoming a lot. Especially with a long book like this. But yeah. So that's what we're doing. We're doing the Night Stalker for the month of June. Please join the Facebook group. It'll mean the world to us. And that will be like. We'll, we'll still be posting everything on Goodreads as well. But we're going to be posting everything on Facebook too. And that will be where we're going to do it. We're going to do some special things on the Facebook group too. We're going to, um, Mel and I were looking at like all the different things you can do as part of a group. So we're going to try some different things over there and we're real excited. So anyway, um, if you see posts over there from the group, it will either be from Mel or myself and it's from our like personal, uh, Facebook profile. So that's, you know, you'll see it come up like that over there if that makes sense. So anyway. So anyway, very, very excited about it. I'm very excited about the summer of serial killers as it, get warm, as it gets warmer and hotter. I think those are fun months to read things that are really, really scary. So anyway, that's that. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm so excited for another good summer of scary reading. And um, I love you guys. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.